In the old days, a lot of pacemakers were implanted just so that people could tolerate being on high doses of these rate-controlling medications to treat the symptoms of their AFib because when they were in AFib, the medicine kept it slower so they could tolerate it. And then when they were in their normal rhythm, if those medicines made their normal rhythm speed way too slow, then the pacemaker would kick in and make their heart go to normal speed. So it kind of created a floor below which the heart rate wouldn't go. And then the medicines, it allowed them to use high doses of the medicines to slow down the AFib to try to keep them in this middle range. But we don't do that quite as much these days because we have more options. We have better drugs to keep the AFib asleep and we can do ablation on a lot more people than we used to be able to and affect and get good results on a lot more people, even in the more complex cases where people have a lot more AFib to keep them more in normal rhythm. And so therefore, we don't need to do that as much as we used to do. But people just hear about that and think about that and they think somehow the pacemaker will magically just take over control of their heart and make their heart go at a normal speed, which is just completely not true. 